this video is for the demo of a game called The Invincible. Uh, I'm just going to check that the screen is looking correctly. Uh, this game does support uh, full screen exclusive mode. So changing the resolution here will actually put your monitor into that resolution, which is great. Um, We have a number of volume settings, which is really good. Um, basically, there's uh, language options as well. And yeah, I'm not sure about how much control options there are, whether you can rebind them and that. Um, I don't know if you can. We're going to try everything, turn up the epic. I may have to um, turn some things down because uh, this game, I think this game might have been built around RTX cards. Uh, I'm not sure. So let's get into it. Okay, so find a way to the camp. Could be some uh, texture caching. I'm uh, playing this on a external mechanical hard drive. Um, if I need to, I may turn some things down. We'll see how we go. Everyone's in the field. Okay. What does this thing do? It's some kind of a tracker. This is Dr. Yasna reporting. Do you copy? I'm entering the campgrounds. Is anybody out there? Yeah, I might just have a go at trying to turn something down just a little bit. Yeah, that's a little bit better. Well, I mean, it seems like it's, it's running solid now. So, what do we do? A 
Androbot. Androbot, follow my instructions. Androbot. Oh. A jammed Androbot. Hold space. Uh, I am reporting issues with the Androbot. I'm reporting a robot malfunction. No response to voice commands. Cause unknown. Maybe. Artie, default position. I don't know what's wrong with you, buddy, but you clearly don't want to cooperate. I don't think I can turn the voice up any further. No. Oh, that doesn't work. I mean, it was walking around a minute ago. Probably change the view sensitivity just a little bit. Something making a noise up here. What? Affecting the vision. The radiation or something? Something. I don't know, I don't, I don't think it wants me to go up there or, or there's radiation or something. Something's interfering. We can go this way. Wow, yeah. I don't know. You get the idea like it doesn't want me to... There's something over there. Yeah. I don't know. It doesn't want me to walk uh, that way for some reason. The whole view just goes all blurry and... <sighs> Whoa. What's, what's causing that blurry thing to happen? Let's see if we can get to this. What is it? Some kind of... I don't know, a light bulb on a... tripod? What the heck? Uh, 
I'm gonna count. Can't walk out there for some reason. That's kind of weird. Turn out this way. Here's another one. Search the camp. So we're not at the camp yet, or we are at the camp, or... Why? Am I supposed to be able to jump? I don't know. Okay, so you can rebind. Um, so we've got left shift for run. Interaction. Tab for the map. T for the tracker. Telemeter. Whatever that does. Detector. Um, see, I might have to find some of this equipment. I'm, I'm not sure. Uh, T, Z, and R. T, Z, R. TZR. Okay, well, let's try TZR. So, right, that's that. So, we do have this. So, this is just. Why is it so blurry? Focus? Well, that's another one of these tripod things. Um, what's this? So we got zoom in, and then we got distance. Okay, so that like auto adjusts the distance. Yeah. Oh, very uh, interesting. Never seen this kind of thing in a game before. Um, and what's the other one? PZR. Okay, we don't have R, whatever that is. Um, okay, let's see if I can have a look up that way. You want to set up here? No, no, what's? I don't know. It's, I find it very weird why we can't walk up little incline or walk. It obviously doesn't want me to go up there either. Kind of a transmission or receiving issue sometimes. Search the camp. Hey, look, there's someone in there. Okay. Maybe we can get their attention. Didn't you hear me earlier? Doctor! Is everything all right? that I've located Dr. Crowter. He's in bad shape. I'm going to examine him now. Okay. 
Hello. Anyone there? I repeat, Crowter is in a serious condition. Temperature normal. Pulse 2. O2 saturation is fine. There's nothing physically wrong with the doctor. His pupils respond properly. Look at my finger. No delay in reactions. Uh, he's probably um, got an alien parasite or something. <laughs> <coughs> Somebody talked through the communication device. Excuse me. Yasla, can you hear me? Astrogator. Finally. I've been listening to you for two hours. My receiver is dead. No need to explain yourself, Doctor. I know him. The transmitter was still working, so I heard your reports. Have Wait, please. I need to reconnect. <laughs> Testing, one, two, three. Ah, copy you, Doctor. Loud and clear. Do I understand correctly that the Doctor's life isn't in imminent danger? That's my initial diagnosis, yes. Yet no response to verbal communication? None. Conclusions, Doctor? Do you have any idea what's wrong with him? Akinesia. Mutism, impoverishment of mimic movements, and reaction to stimuli. These are all symptoms of stupor, but it's difficult to pinpoint the cause of this disorder. We need to quickly perform a complete set of tests, primarily a CT scan of his brain. Otherwise, I won't be able to say anything more. I'll prepare the infirmary, but first things first, Lambda. We need to get you all on board. Everyone, not just Dr. Crowther. Couldn't we just evacuate him right away? If it were that easy, I would have sent the hopper long ago. Please look for the mission log, which should include crucial data about the crew's activities. We have three more people to find, and you still need to designate a place for the landing. Find the mission log. No, uh, it might not be in here. Suggest that a little bit more. Um, okay, so we've got another room there. This goes out to the outside. What's that? It's not a mission log, but it will do. Dr. Crowter kept records. Meticulous as always. What's in there? Um. The most important thing is probably the landing coordinates. AZ-2316. Noting. 360. Excellent. I'm uploading the data. Starting calibration. Hmm. Dr. Gorski has moved away from the research sector to the west. Ah, that's right. He followed those deposits of metal. Metal? That's why we have detectors. Correct. 
Mine died, but Crowter had one as well, didn't he? Like everyone in the crew, Doctor. Are you looking for the detector? Yeah, just a sec. Oh, got it. Please make sure it works. Take the detector. Well, I don't know. Have we finished them here? Take it outside. Is that what? No? Uh, what do I have to do? I mean, this looks like a pen or something there. Um, what am I supposed to do? Report pumps. Checked. I'm leaving the tent. Find the rest of the crew. <sighs> well, it's just following. Uh... All right, now for the robot. It's unresponsive. Yes, I know. I'm currently trying to establish a connection. Can I help somehow? Just look for the others, Doctor. I'll take care of this myself. Get the tin head back on its feet remotely. The secure Crowter. I have everything I need. Just... Is something wrong with the connection, sir? It's not working. I'm not sure why. There's a relay transmitter in the camp, so the signal should be strong enough. A relay? Ah. Oh. Yasna? What are you up to? One sec. Looking for it. What about the rest of the crew? You're gonna make them wait? Uh I don't know. Should I do that or should I do that? Right, the others. Have no time to lose. Exactly. Alright, All right, you tin bastard. See what's up there? We got looks like another one of those lamps. I mean, maybe it was just that the game didn't want me to walk up there yet. No, see, look, it's, well, I mean, it's doing it, but then it comes right. Yeah, I don't know what that is. Whether it's uh, supposed to do that or not. Might be able to go that way. Or we might be able to go this way. Um... Hmm, which way? I'm interested to see what's in this way. Once more, status. Damn piece of junk. Yeah, see, is it supposed to go blurry like that, or is it just part of the game? I'm not too sure. I'm entering the research area. Clear for now. Tracker? Silent. By the way, what did they find here? Oh, right. You don't remember. A piece of metal sticking out of the ground. Sounds inconspicuous, but in this desert environment, it's a phenomenon. The artifact turned out to be too big to dig up or to subject to chemical and spectrometric analysis. Dr. Gorski set out to investigate its source to find some end. And? Did he? That I don't know, unfortunately. Got 
got someone. I'm following the signal. It's here. I can see the structure. I'm in the right place. Understood. Please continue. Oh no, there's something down there. Uh, if I use the right tool for the job. Yeah, what is that? One of those tripod things. Uh, well, it might be. Can't let really me see the leg, but I mean, it looks like it, doesn't it? Oh well, let's go follow the uh, the dot. Unknown object. There's something on the ground. It's a journal. Geological cross section measurements. These are Merritt's notes. She must be somewhere close. Please search the entire area thoroughly. I think I know where I can find her. Okay. Uh. Yeah, you can only climb where they want you to climb. <laughs> The signal's coming from a castle of backpack. That's concerning. I'm close, but I can't see her. She's here. I found her. What's her condition? Merit. Marit! Marit! What? <laughs> That's it. Oh man, that is. That is short. Um. Well, uh, we didn't do any puzzles or anything. Um. Yeah, it's basically just like a, I mean, it's, it's like if you were reading a visual novel or if you were watching a, um, a video of a story, there just isn't really much gameplay there. It's all basically just, uh, Watching it all unfold, basically. Yeah, I mean, it's not what I was expecting. Uh, I was expecting something a bit more... I don't know, involved? Anyway. Uh, 
that's the demo for the Invincible. Uh, if you want to try it yourself, maybe you could find something different. Maybe you could try a different path or something, I don't know. Um, it's supposed to be a Choices Meta game, but yeah. I don't know. Anyway, um, yeah, if you go to the Steam store page, it's called The Invincible. There's a demo uh, that you can download and try yourself now if you'd like to uh, give it a go. Um, so thanks for watching and we'll catch you in the next.